Welcome to this lecture on the fundamentals of Python for scientific computing. In this session, we will explore the SymPy library, which is specifically designed for symbolic mathematics. SymPy includes a powerful simplify function that streamlines various mathematical tasks. This function employs a range of techniques such as simplification rules, geometric identities, and algebraic transformations to reduce the complexity of algebraic expressions, equations, and formulas. By making mathematical expressions more concise and manageable, SymPy's simplify function greatly enhances the efficiency of symbolic computation and mathematical operations in Python. For this lecture, we have prepared the file in Colab notebook and all the syntax for this session are prepared. So we will discuss all these content and statement wise statement. So in the beginning, we need to import a SymPy library by using this very first statement. Along with, we need some variable x, y, z are variables which we defined at this place. And this statement is used to print the statements. Okay, so when you will play from this place, the library will be imported and after that we can use for our inputs so here we have very first statement you can see f1 is equal to sine square plus cosine square if you want to print first we need to comment this statement and hash is used for the comment uh, you can play from this place or either you can press ctrl and enter uh, when you will press ctrl and enter this will print the input statement and uh, when you will you pass this f1 function through this simplify function this will simplify the above expression again using control and enter after removing comment and you see that the value of f1 is 1 since uh, this is identity in a trigonometric function sine square x plus cosine square x is equal to 1 again we uh, you can see here we have f2 function and f2 we have is uh, first comment this one and we can print the above expression this is x cube plus x square minus x minus 1 upon x square plus 2x plus 1 and by using simplify function you can find its value after simplifying which is x minus 1 again we have uh, f3 function this is also the one of the most important example for you uh, first we are committing the third statement and play from this place you will find that uh, this is gamma x upon gamma x minus 2 and by using simplify function we can easily simplify this function uh, which is x minus 2 and x minus 1 next uh, polynomials and rational function uh, simplification uh, we can do by using uh, simplification and here is expand function which is one of of the most common simplification function in a same pi see here uh, we have uh, this is the expression x cube plus 2 whole power x5 you can copy from this place and see here after printing in symbolic form uh, control and enter so you can see here the symbolic expression of the above statement which is x cube plus 2 whole power 5 and by using the above statement uh, expand function we can easily expand this expression which is x15 10x12 40x raised to power 9 80x raised to power 6 80x cube plus 32 uh, similarly we have one more interesting example at this place you can find by using expand you can uh, expand these functions x2 cube product x minus 3 cube and when you will execute this will return in the expression form okay and here is also one uh, of the third example uh, here is we have x plus 1 x minus 2 and minus x minus 1 product x. and when you will simplify this will return the value which is minus 2 and uh, this will expand the product and then simplify and we get the value minus 2 uh, here is a factor uh, which takes the polynomials and factors uh, it into irreducible factor over the rational number for example you can see here we have x cube minus x square plus x minus 1 and when you will pass this polynomial through this factor function this will factorize this polynomial which is x minus 1 x square plus 1 and uh, next we have one more example you can find here 
we have is x square product to 4 uh, x square product z plus 4 x y z plus 4 y square z and when you will pass this statement through this factor function this will factorize this expression which is z into x plus 2 y square and by using a factor list function you can get all the possible factors of the above expression mm -hmm. and you can see that here we have the same statement as we do in the above so when you will use factor underscore list this will give us the uh, possible list of all possible factors here you can see one and z minus one z is one factor and x plus 2y and you can see here we have x plus 2y square so uh, this is two times uh, appeared so index of uh, x plus 2y is 2 okay similarly uh, we can use uh, uh, expand function for the trigonometric functions and this will expand this expression which is cosine square plus sine square sorry this is cos x plus sine x whole square and by using uh, this uh, expand function this will expand this above expression and again by using factor this expression will be factorized uh, c in the last example for the trigonometric expression and you can see that uh, this is again we have uh, sine x plus uh, cosine x square and collect function also collect the common powers of terms in the expression and here you can see we have expression is equal to when you will play we have is x cube y minus x square z plus 2 x square plus x y plus x minus 3 so when you will pass this polynomial through collect function see here we are using this is the assignment variable on the left hand side collected underscore expression and here we are using collect function and through this collect function we are passing the above expression and we want to collect here x so when you will play this statement to see the returning value and here you can find that from the above polynomial we have x cube y plus x square has been taken from these two term which and common factor is 2 minus z and from this these two terms we have x is common and factor is y plus 1 and then we have minus 3 similarly you can collect y variable and again when you will execute the above statement and see the difference between the above statement and the output value and we find that there are only two terms one is this first term and this third last term y has been taken common from these two terms and the above expression reduced here in this form minus x square z plus 2 x square plus x plus y x cube plus x minus 3 again you can use collect as a particularly useful in the conjunction with the coefficient method uh, by using method uh, expression dot coefficient x n this will return the coefficient of x raised to power n okay see here uh, we have collect underscore expression dot coefficient of x raised to power 2 when you will play this statement and you can find that the coefficient of x square is 2 minus z so here we have you can find x square this is the x square and when you will take common 2 minus z is the coefficient of x square so this value has been returned at this place cancel uh, is also sometimes uh, can be used in the place of uh, uh, simplify uh, both will return the same value but not uh, uh, always so cancel i will take any rational function and put it into the standard canonical form px upon qx where px and qx are expanded polynomials with no common factors and the leading coefficient of px and qx do not have denominator see here first we are commenting this last statement by you and we have this expression yeah so we have x square plus 2x plus 1 upon x square plus x and when you will pass 
this f4 function through cancel function and c we have the returning value so some common factor has been cancelled and after that we have x plus 1 upon x uh, after simplification and in the place of cancel if you are using simplification simplify function then see what is the difference and you find that the value of the same expression we have absolutely same which is x plus 1 upon x so you can use sometimes simplify in the place of cancel okay next uh, we have one more example here is expression which is uh, when you will play 3x by 2 minus 2 upon x minus 4 plus 1 upon x and when you will pass this expression through cancel function this will reduce in this form okay so after uh, simplifying the above expression we have 3x square minus 2x minus 8 upon 2x square minus 8x and the most important thing is that if you are using here is a simplify function and uh, uh, you will see that this will not return the uh, more accurate expression c so this this is returning the same expression as we are using in the above so cancel is a more suitable function for in the place of a simplification when we have the expression in uh, alge uh, algebraic rational form okay and in the next example we have is this very long expression and uh, which is x y square minus 2 x y z plus x z square plus y square minus 2 y z plus z square upon x square minus 1 and uh, when you will you pass through this expression cancel and see the returning value this will return as y square minus 2 y z plus z square upon x minus z and again if uh, uh, you pass uh, this uh, above expression through the factor so uh, this will uh, factorize the above expression c here and also uh, some common factor will be cancelled yeah so uh, here uh, uh, you can see uh, you can compare the cancel function and factor function in the first we have only y square minus 2 y z plus z square and uh, when you will use the factor expression a factor then uh, this will reduce the uh in factor form so you can see in the numerator y minus z square upon x minus one for the partial fraction we can use a part function and uh, see the example here we have is this expression which is 4x cube plus 21x square plus 10x plus 12 upon x raised to power 4 plus 5x cube plus 5x square plus 4x so by using a part function and when you will pass through this function the this will reduce above function in the partial fraction you can see this is 2x minus 1 upon x square plus x plus 1 minus 1 upon x plus 4 plus 3 upon x so uh, this uh, uh, type of uh, partial fraction is very useful while integration and to solve different type of problems also uh, we can uh, use uh, simplification for uh, uh, trigonometric simplifications and uh, simpy follows python's naming conversions for inverse trigonometric function which is uh, uh, to append and uh, uh, append uh, to the front of the function's name and see here uh, we have uh, a cos x and uh, when you will take cos of uh, a cos this will return the x value so a will be appended uh, before uh, trigonometric functions and for the inverse function uh, see here uh, this will return us x and uh, if you want to find out the value of uh, inverse sine function of one this will return the corresponding value which is pi by 2 trig simp is also can be used for trigonometric simplification or to simplify expressions using trigonometric identities uh, we can use trig simp function in this way uh, see here we have is a sin x square plus cosine x square and when you will pass this f of i function through trig simp so this will simplify the above expression and we know that sine square x plus cosine square x is equal to 1. 
similarly uh, we have uh, this uh, new function f6 uh, which is uh, sin x raised to power 4 minus 2 cos x square sin x square and plus cosine raised to power 4 so when you will pass this value in the trig simple function you find that after simplifying the above expression we have cosine 4 x point 2 plus 1 by 2 and uh, here is also one more example here for trigonometric function which is sin x product tangent x upon sec x and uh, when you will uh, run uh, pass through this value trig simp and after simplifying we get sin square x uh, trig uh, trig simp function is also can be used for a trigonometric function uh, hyperbolic trig trig function uh, see here we have is a trig simp and we have the expression you can see cosine hyperbolic square plus sin hyperbolic square and when you will execute this will return the corresponding value which is the cosine hyperbolic 2x and if we want to expand uh, uh, expressions of uh, trigonometric functions we can use expand underscore trig so this can be used for the trigonometric functions here are some examples in the very first example you can see expand underscore trig sine x plus y so when you will execute this statement this will return the identity which is sine x cosine y plus sine y cos x on the basis of identity now we have the formula sine x plus y is equal to this expression next uh, we have one more example here is expand underscore trig tangent 2x this will also be expanded uh, which is uh, 2 tangent x upon 1 minus tangent square so for the trigonometry identities we can use uh, this function and you can get the corresponding value from uh, also you can use uh, trig simple function uh, for simplify the expression see this statement uh, when you will execute we have sin x plus uh, sin x cosine y plus sin y cosine x and uh, by using trig simp uh, this uh, side is simplified which is equal to sin x plus y in conclusion this lecture is introduced to you to the fundamental aspect of uh, python for scientific computing with the specific focus on the simpy library simpy tailored for symbolic mathematics offers a robust simplify function that optimize mathematical operations leveraging a multitude of techniques including simplification rules trigonometric identities and algebraic transformations this function simplifies algebraic expression equations and formulas this Newfound knowledge equips you with the valuable tools for your scientific and mathematical vectors. Thank you very much to see this lecture till the end.